Uh, I'm making this uh, microcontroller which ESP32 with HCS HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor here. So what it does is just uh, to measure the distance in between the object and the HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor. I'm based on which is this microcontroller lab.com. So from here is uh, what it does it can uh, so for now, I just want to focus to get from the COM port, which is a serial monitor. You can see uh, what's the distance in real time, uh, how much the distance between the object and the ultrasonic sensor. I go through which is this uh, website microcontroller.com for HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor. So... Uh, okay, you see this is the interface HCSR04 ultrasonic sensor with ESP32 contactless distance measurement. Uh, you can see uh, what it does. It just used uh, Arduino library here. Uh, sometimes it can work without the library, but which is uh, quite interesting. And uh, this is what it does. Okay, for this particular part, they got OLED display, but mine only for the for now is just output on the serial monitor. Then you can see, oh, here's some table of content, some ads, which is not necessary. And the interface ESP show the functionality of each pin. So we can see here we got five volt trigger, echo, trigger, echo, and ground. Right. So what? is uh, how the uh, HCSR04 sensor work basically is got the ultrasonic sound which is 40 kilohertz frequency so what it does like got a sound wave then the trigger sound wave then we got the echo back the sound wave so how it is you got transmitter and receiver and you got the object which is the things that is uh, you can detect things by trigger and echoing so you can see what it does here. This is the distance and the object here. Certain distance from the object, then you can uh, trigger it. Then you can uh, the object will, uh, will be echo back to the. There's some formula. Something we do with uh, distance times equation here, which is s equals to vt something. In compulse duration in distance for this is basically in the meter here hv. So we can see something we do with calculation and we'll, we'll be get the result which is the certain result here hmm open up the arduino then we can see so here's the explanation for everything okay then already open we got a trigger and everything pin 5 then we get define the echo pin on the pin 18 then we got led 2 we got some long duration distance white setup output we got Serial bigger with 9600 power rate, but I think for ESP32, most probably they're using 115200 something for the serial port. So we're done with it. So let's this is the code. Let's just plug in this and see how to use it. Okay, just put it here. So yeah, uh, make sure the COM port was correct. Everything, uh, ESP32 def by choosing this. This you have to kind of go to the preference and we add up here the additional board manager then we can download the ports for this we got board manager then we can just type in ESP32 we can install it then what we does now right now is we go tools we check it ESP32 dev module we choose it this then uh, 115200 and uh, we put in uh, make sure it's correct we have the com tree here if not sure, we just go to the device manager and we check, double check it. Device, all right. Okay, let's check at the com. All right, we got the Silicon Lab CP210X. We have to download this driver as well. You can check it on a website which is CP210X USB to UART bridge com tree. So what it does, we compile it. Okay, we straight away we upload it. We compile the sketch with upload. Then I put an object, certain object, the distance from the HCSR04. HRC is okay. Now we have to press the boot button here. Make sure it's boot. Okay. 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 Okay.
Okay. Now it's writing, writing, writing. Turns here. Put it here. Check system distance. Open the serial monitor. Ah, uh, sure, it's showing 6, 6 cm, 5 cm, and sort of stuff. Lah. In real time, I'll be eating here. Okay, on the next project, I will kind of add up an OLED display so it can show a nice kind of portable for the for this ultrasonic sensor with ESP32. Maybe add on with some Wi-Fi stuff or much more things can do with this because this ESP32 is kind of very good. You can do a lot of stuff with the uh, Internet of Things kind of stuff, I guess. All right, guys, that's about it for this video. Don't worry, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, share to your friends. And see you in the next video. Bye.